Lots of materials, including standard chenilles and estas, come in a rope like this. They are easy to work with, but the ends tend to be a little bit dense and hard to tie in without creating a big lump. What you can do to fix this is to pull some fibers off of the end you plan to tie in, exposing the thin core. Lay the end on top of the hook shank with the now bare tag end facing the front and the rest of the material hanging off the back end of the hook. Use the pinch to hold the material and the hook shank. Pinch the thread between your thumb and finger. Make a loose wrap, tighten it down, and the material should be held in place. Use a few locking wraps to secure it, then bring the thread up to the front of the fly. Make a couple wraps in front of the eyes and tie a half hitch. With a rotary vise, bring your bobbin cradle around and place the thread over it. Now, rather than wrap the materials around the hook, I'm going to rotate the hook towards me and guide the estaz onto the hook in close, even wraps. Wiggling the estaz back and forth helps keep the fibers from becoming trapped. If you don't have a rotary vise, just wrap the material around the hook, passing it from one hand to the next. Make sure you wind around the hook in the same direction as the thread wraps. When I get up to the eyes, I'm going to put a wrap directly behind them, then cross underneath so I don't risk folding them down, and make a couple of wraps in front. Once you've got the estaz wrapped to the front, you need to bind it down. First, I'm going to pull the bobbin cradle out of the way. I'm still keeping tension on the estaz with my right hand. If I let go now, it will start to unravel. I'm going to wind up the excess thread so it's fairly short and use my left hand to bring the bobbin up and over the hook shank and the estaz and drop it on the other side. Do this one more time in exactly the same location and with the weight of the bobbin, the thread and estaz will not come undone. Make sure you pull the thread tight to snug the locking wraps down. Now I'm going to trim the estaz, leaving a short tag end. I'm rotating the hook around to get the part I'm going to cut away from the thread so I don't accidentally cut the thread along with the estaz. Now I need to put a few locking wraps in to make sure the estaz doesn't unwrap. I've got a few loose pieces sticking out in front of the tie-in point. If I were tying more materials in, I would just put a few wraps over them and move on. Because this is the end of this fly, I'm using the finger triangle to pull the fibers back and wrap them down. This will give the fly a nice clean head without any loose fibers. While they are all a little bit different, these same techniques can be used for standard chenille, various types of sparkle chenille, like Palmer chenille and crystal haggle, and even pre-made dubbing brushes.